All right, welcome to a new series of me playing Portal Reloaded. Or Portal Reloaded, because it, it's cut off in the title screen. Anyway, this is a completely blind playthrough of the entire game. Or at least, I hope for it to be in the entire game. If it gets, like, atrociously long and me being painfully stupid, I'll just cut it in half or some shit. But let's go and see how it works. Now, many of you may know that I am painfully stupid Hello, watching test subject. Video. Four, five, zero, nine. You have been in stasis for... Sixteen days. And... Four decades. That isn't good. Wait, Welcome so I've been in to the Aperture like Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing course. I don't like the sound of that. Federal regulations time. require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision or death. Yep, that's how If you experience after. any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. Yeah, that sounds about amateur. Also, these this are vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed like there. This some sort of exorcist bullshit? Good luck. Taking its sweet time to load. And it's loaded. The fact that the humans and tubes are going through the same tubes might be a problem later on. Granted, gross corporate negligence is something Aperture is known for. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. The door in front of you is programmed to open, open in the approximately door. 20 years. This test can be solved in open two the door. different ways. Option one. Open the door. Wait patiently. Option two. Time travel to the future. The choice is yours. However, if you prefer time travel, the enrichment center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open and testing will begin in three. I don't two, like this. One. Okay, good doors open. Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the Enrichment Center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry, the Enrichment Center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. This doesn't look Find like a way it to looks exit good the chamber. But Oh, okay. Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. Yeah, I can understand that. I this Aperture Science Test Subject test Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. That this process painful. is absolutely safe. Usually. 
I was waiting for that to be said. And I knew that would happen. These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. Okay, so back to basics. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. I like how it just pops into existence. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. This future version of the cube can be moved freely. Good. Please continue to the next chamber. All right. Understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply put, Everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. Okay, so if I... If I move this cube here... That's going to power this one. And then if I move this one in the future... I power this button. Wait, what if I take this one through the portal? Nice try, but bringing a present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. I'm glad the devs thought of that one. Hard enough to add a voice life for because an idiot like me would do that. Here. Actually, wait a minute. So if I put one here, and I take the other cube. So you have that one there. And now if I stand on this button, will that open the door in the future? Simple, and I'm just very stupid. Actually, what if I bring a uh, cube from the future to the past? Would that work? Okay, that actually worked. What? Good thinking. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. Alright, but wouldn't that, wouldn't that also create a time paradox? Because you can't have the future object... You know what, I'm just not even going to question that. We take those. So then I can take this one back. Oh. Oh, alright. So put this 
one on the butt. I know what I gotta do now. I am a fucking genius. <laughs> I am a fucking genius. Oh. Will I be able to grab it? Yes, I will. Alright, good. I can't believe I figured that out as fast as I did. I cannot believe I figured that one out very quickly. Always remember. If you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. Okay, so I'm gonna need, I think I'm gonna need to bring a future to that button, and then put a cube from the present up there, I think. Well, yeah, because there's a sign for it. So is this the same cube that was in there? Yes. I can't bring a cube from the present into the future, but I can bring a cube from the future into the present. I have no idea why that works, but I'm not going to question it because it's helped me out so far. Good. By now, you hopefully understand the concept of cause and effect and how cubes behave in different timelines. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. I'm actually doing something somewhat intelligent for once. And now, for the moment you've been waiting for, Aperture Science proudly presents the Triple Portal Device. This doesn't seem safe. Go on. This marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. For now, however, to introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. Alright. I like the look of this portal crosshair. Okay, so... Those are still there, but the Fizzler is not. A portal placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. Oh, this is just the the uh, mind the gap test from Portal One, but also. All right, I like that. A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. Good. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. No, I can't go that way. Wait a minute, what? Hi? Am, am I stupid? Or did I do something correctly? Oh. I am stupid. Time for Please, ignore that. 
the decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. Genius. Actually, wait, where will this... Wait a minute, that wasn't there before. Did I just fundamentally alter the time-space continuum? Okay, no, I didn't. I just put the portal somewhere else. I fucked up. I gotta go back. That's where the exit is. And then... This one. Nicely right. done. So Take good. note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Get ready for multiple hours of me being an idiot. How did I get up here? I mean, we take those, but okay. I feel like I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I wound up short. Alright. So I gotta figure out how to get up there. I know it has something to do with dropping off the key. Did I just... Did I just do the... Outstanding. Now that I you know the all the essentials, accident. how about shooting some time portals of your own? I solved that accident. Holy shit. It's gonna get way worse, though. Because now that I have the ability to place the time portals, things are gonna get stupid. Ahead of you is the Aperture Science Time Portal Activation Force Field. 
This field will activate and deactivate your ability to shoot time portals. It will not fizzle your portals or destroy cubes. No. Alright. Great. The following chamber out. will combine all the elements you have learned so far. Good luck solving your first test while shooting three different portals. Can I get them to collide? Am I doing something that's actually genius? Or am I, or am I just stupid? It's probably going to take me like 20 or so minutes just to solve this first puzzle. Okay, I think I almost, I almost know what to do. I think I almost know what to do. Wait, no, that, that won't work.
sorry if this is just painful to watch. I'll probably speed it up in editing, so that it's not just me being the slow playing this game. No, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Something wrong with that line? There's probably some really easy solution that I'm just too dumb to notice. What happens if I like... Okay, that's what happened. Okay, so there's this. I just need a way to build up enough speed. Remember that you can only place time portals on surfaces oh. which are in the same condition in both timelines. Okay. So I need to enter it with some significant speed. What if I just try and climb up? Will this work? No, it will not. I'm still gonna try it again just to be sure. Cause like if it if it does work, I will genuinely be impressed. Okay no, I'm just dumb. So
Will this even work? Yes, it will! Alrighty then! Genuinely did not think that that would work. And I am now quite impressed with myself. Well done. Traveling through a time portal will also transfer your current momentum into the other timeline. Um, good thing I figured that out, weird disembodied voice. Good thing I figured that out. Okay, good, there is a place I can jump if I thought I was just straight up gonna die. <laughs> Okay, so those are death pits. Oh. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to drop my cell phone. Nope, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Am I? Oh, I can still play time for this here. Okay, so that's active. How do I get up? Oh. That's how I get up there. So if I step on this button... I'm starting to figure out what I gotta do. I did not think that through. So if I have this cube just perpetually falling in this timeline, will it be just like that in the other timeline? Yes, it will. But how will I... Well, one, I have to stop being fucking stupid. I do not know who is calling me. Grab it. I couldn't grab the cube. Got it. 
I have to do something with big fucking brain. Okay, I know what I'm supposed to be doing, I just have to do it correctly. And yeah, I am supposed to do it do it in this timeline so I can change the position later. Kind of getting the idea of what I gotta do. Because if I move the cube in the future, it won't do anything in the present. So if I if I take this thing off, then I'd go back. Something tells me I did this entirely wrong. I think I did it in like the wrong timeline order. know what I'm supposed to do, but I don't. Because changing this here, and doing this, if I do this, then 
Actually, does that... Did that do it? So doing that, did that... No, that didn't reopen the loop portal. What if I try it in reverse, where I move this cube off the button, but I have the cube in the future on the button? And I would need to somehow move the cube in the pad. Oh, that won't work. I just fucked that up. So I'm figuring it out. I'm gonna have to somehow go through the time portal in both timelines. What if I do the trick where I bring the future cube into the present? This. And I like... I know what I gotta do! Wait, shit! No, I don't! Bring the future cube over there. So I have the cube from the future. But if I bring it over here, that doesn't solve anything. So I need to have the future. Okay, I would need to solve this portion in the future. Maybe I have to solve this in the future. And then somehow undo the solution in the past? Hmm. 
This is hurting my brain. Like, it's not impossible, I know that. It's not impossible, I might just be stupid. So what if I have this undone in the past, and then in the future I do it, and then I would go back to the past and then undo it? But I'd have to do undo it over there in the past. What I said makes absolutely no sense. It's probably just gonna be an hour long and we just try to solve this. So I know I can make it over here in both the past and the present. Well, both the future and the past. Close enough. Okay, so portals in the past, the past affect the future, but not, but portals in the future don't affect the present. Do this, they'll be like that in the future. So if I do that, they'll be like that in the future. Then if I go and change them in the future, then they won't change in the present. So now these are like that, if I, now that won't work, I think. So if I move this in the future, this cube's position now, it's going to change in the future. So then if I change the position in the future, the position in the past will change. And then if I... Okay, so I'm actually starting to think about this. What if I go this way? Undo this in the future. Then through here, I have this one back. There's definitely, like, an obvious solution that I'm just stupid and missing. Oh, I can move this 
time portal. I can go to the time portal and refunnel back into it. So I'm going to have to bring this to the present. Oh, I know what... I almost know what I gotta do now. I gotta have this cube down there. So I can bring it up here. So I have to have that cube, the cube in the present, down at the bottom, so like, when I need to change the position later, I can do that. Yeah, that makes sense. Be sure I don't move the original cube at all until I need to. Because if I then move the original cube. Ah! I am smart! Nicely done. Now, let's move on to some more advanced challenges. It took me like half an hour to do the first one. <laughs> this is gonna be painful for anyone watching. I knew the solution would have been stupidly simple, and I was just dumb and missing it. After <laughs> any experience portal play, I'm sorry for my painful stupidity. If you are ever unsure where you placed your portals, or where you left a cube in the other timeline, feel free to use the puzzle element indicator switch on your portal device. This will display holographic projections of your portals and cubes in the other timeline. Oh well, that would have been useful in the last test chamber! Would have been really helpful in the last chamber! What was that nasty one? Okay, I don't know what that button did. Smart. I did a huge thing. I actually solved that one on the first try. Quickly make your way I've over these turret redemption platforms. Over the what? Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. I'm sorry. Oh shit. 
Oh, first death. First death of the season. First death of the season. Number. I am surprised that I died that Quickly make your way over these turret redemption platforms. So Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think okay. of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. Fuck. I split. I fucking split. Please, somebody make an animation. Of Quickly like, make your way over the, these turret the redemption platforms. I, I'm not sure if this is Chow or not, but please make they did not survive their trip the to the future. The Come to think of it, or it's actually quite remarkable out, that you are still alive. Oh! <laughs> Quickly so make your time, way over these turret redemption the platforms. The charm, Unfortunately, shit. they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. Yes, I am. <laughs> of course I'm dying the most when I'm not in the action. Quickly make your way over these turret redemption platforms. Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. <sighs> There we go. If at any point you are concerned Please. about your odds oh, of survival, I'm gonna have to do that again. don't be. I'm gonna have to do it Remember again. the test subject teleportation devices at the start of each test section. Should you die at any point during this test, we can simply rearrange the atoms you are made of and put them back together. Good as new. Okay, that's that's a very good thing to know. Fuck, I gotta bring a cube through here. Okay, hold up. I'm doing this wrong, I think. Because I gotta have a future cube on this button here. Because that will allow me, I think. That's where a cube is in the present. So if I put that cube there, it should allow me to put this cube here. I messed that one up big time. Don't tell me this is just gonna be me being a fucking moron for like another 30 minutes. Actually, wait, what if I... 
Bring this cube. Here. Will that even work? that cube over here. I'm gonna bring the one in the future over there. Do we need to like have something hold down this button while I propel a cube over there? So if I could just switch them around. Because if I destroy this cube in this timeline, that cube also gets destroyed. But if I destroy this cube in... Okay, I'm getting it. I'm almost getting it. on the on that button. Where did this come from? Thank you. 
Wait, fuck. I did that wrong. That was a mistake. You know what? I'm just gonna sign off and maybe do a part two. So I'll see y'all next time.